Greetings this Monday morning. It is August 1st. We begin a new month together. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. Delighted to pray with you today. May the mind of Christ, my Savior, live in me from day to day by his loving and power controlling all I do and say. May the word of God dwell richly in my heart from hour to hour, so that all may see I triumph only through his power. May the peace of God, my Father, rule my life everything, that I may be calm to comfort sick and sorrowing. May his beauty rest upon me as I seek the lost to win, and may they forget the channel, seeing only him. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our scripture today is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, beginning at the first verse. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. When he has come into being, in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came to witness and testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world does not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born of uh, blood and the will of the flesh of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is only God's only Son who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The word of the Lord. We often take time to uh, hear this gospel, usually at the time of uh, the first Sunday after Christmas, is often the, uh, well, the first Sunday of Christmas. It's often the gospel reading that's used. In that context, obviously, it all seems to fit with the great incarnation, that she's God becoming uh, human, um, it reminds me of a um, philosophy class I was in, <laughs> um, perhaps one of my first introductory courses in, in college, and the professor got up there and just started rambling on philosophically and left everybody going with their eyes open, wondering, what is he talking about? <laughs> and I would assume that people who, out of context, the this, this same, uh, same gospel passage might have the same response for many of us. Um, it's kind of confusing as to how God could be or how Jesus could be before John and how in the beginning, you know, Jesus was before anything. And um, all implying, of course, that, that Jesus is the Son of God. And that is the, the gospel message, right? Um, for us, it's, it's a... Um, you know, the, John gives us that beautiful imagery of the light 
that shines in the darkness and the darkness doesn't overcome it and and how um many of us in our life sometimes you know go through struggles and go through difficult times and uh times where we feel like we're in the shadows and and we we hunger to see that light to see some sign of hope um and for many of us jesus is that light and and that truth and it gives us perspective and get, keeps us centered and hopeful so it's a good way to begin the month it's a good way to begin the year i mean the uh week it's it's good to take this time to uh reflect on the presence of jesus in our life and um that we might be like John in witnessing to that reality um, to others. So let us pray for others today as we uh, go through our time of reflection. We pray for those who are uh, experiencing struggle and pain and suffering this day for those who've experienced loss of loved ones for those who are hungering for justice for truth for light in their darkness we pray for those in nursing homes and those who are alone those who are afraid Pray for the poor, the needy, those without sustenance. We pray for those in our, in our world who have power and strength to make change happen, that they would, their hearts would be moved by the Holy Spirit. We pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. You promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of God and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Take care. Have a great day.